brain tech here where tech is made simple last week i posted a video regarding some new features we can expect to see arrive early in 2023 with the moment to update for windows 11 h2 now i'll leave a link in the description to that video but this week i thought we could take a look at some more features expected to roll out um, in the second wave of features possibly in moment two for windows 11 h2 early next year and this week i'm um, just taking a look at some of the um, not so useful features so some features that um, users could find a little bit annoying that could make their way into moment 2 for windows 11 h2 next year now these features i have spoken about previously um, on the channel and um, have been made available in earlier dev channel builds so there is a possibility although not guaranteed but there is a possibility that these could be made available um, early next year for Windows 11. Now in no particular order and the first is recommended websites. Now if I just zoom in here so you can see it a little bit easier in the video. As mentioned in previous in a previous video Microsoft could be set to roll out recommended websites. So here we can see um, um, on the start menu in the recommended section common website common website now for some users this maybe could be a little bit useful but i personally wouldn't like this to be pushed out and also i think um, this could be a little bit annoying and considered to be bloatware so recommended websites uh, in the recommended menu on the start menu possibly rolling out as a new feature sometime or possibly early next year heading to the next now this is the search highlights which i have spoken about and the new search box um which um could be rolling out next year for windows 11 and the search box as mentioned previously very similar to windows 10 so it's a, a windows 10 style search box which you can actually type and enter a search into so i think the search box could be a great idea um rolling out but this little icon here which is considered to be search highlights and basically these are small images and um, that show holidays and other events now for some may be useful but if you have a quick look it could be confused with the other taskbar icons so if you are busy and in a workflow and um, you could confuse that with these other taskbar icons so maybe useful for some but for others maybe just bloatware and a little bit of a distraction and then the second feature regarding search as mentioned previously are um, these little tips that microsoft will or could possibly roll out sometime in the future and as microsoft says they are trying to improve the value of search shortcuts and reduce friction in the broader windows search experience where they are trying out different ways to improve tips on how to use the windows search um, in the taskbar and yeah you can see a tip to use the windows logo key and s um, as a quick shortcut to enable windows search so um Although it may be useful for a new user coming over to Windows 11 as an example, I think um, I personally would consider this be, to be a little bit of bloatware and a bit of a distraction, getting these little tips popping up all the time on the taskbar as an example for search and how to use search. And then moving on to the second last little feature. Um, this is the new suggested actions where um, Microsoft, as mentioned in a previous video, will be focusing on using Microsoft Edge. Now, they have mentioned that on copying text with search potential, as we can see in the screenshot provided, Windows will pop up an inline light dismissible user interface that suggests searching um, uh, this text in Microsoft Edge. So once again, just another way that Microsoft could be pushing the Edge browser uh, in Windows 11 and and um, especially if you are using another web browser like in my case google chrome having microsoft edge pushed all the time maybe not such a great feature and maybe a little bit of an, a non-useful and annoying little feature and then the last two screenshots for the last feature um, and this is warnings and prompts to set up onedrive as i have posted previously where um it's could prompt you in the future to sign up and sign in with a microsoft account and then if we head to the next in that little profile picture start menu um yeah we can see complete your profile so these could be prompts to sign in with your microsoft account and complete your profile so um, maybe as a new user to windows 11 a handy feature but for others and for most i think just a distraction not that useful and maybe just a annoying feature so those are a couple of the maybe not so useful features rolling out possibly next year in the moment to update and just wanted to bring that to attention 
um, your attention and just make you aware of that in case you're interested. And as mentioned, I will leave a link to that previous video where we had a look at maybe some of the more useful features possibly rolling out that I did post on last week. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.